Right now, students are heading back to school, certainly at Orange Park High School. Remember that bomb threat that was emailed to a school administrator forced the district to cancel all classes yesterday. After searching for hours, police gave the all clear at about 1230 yesterday afternoon. Channel 4's Marcus White joins us live from the school. Marcus' classes start in about 20 minutes. Kids got to be talking about that bomb threat today in the hallways. <laughs> Well, I'm sure they will be, but right now things look like they're back to normal here at the school with school buses coming. Here certainly a lot. In 24 hours after a bomb threat was emailed to a school administrator at Orange Park High School, no one has been arrested or charged in connection with a threat. It's kind of crazy. I mean, should people should be able to go to school? No uh, education. Ain't got to worry about a bomb threat or. Uh... Oh, somebody sneaking into school. It's kind of a shame. After the threat was reported, deputies and canines went into the school along with members of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. They searched every building, every classroom, every closet, and the outside of buildings, but nothing suspicious was found. School officials say they canceled classes out of an abundance of caution. The threat comes just a month after two teens were arrested. Deputies say they posted threats to Middleburg High School online. They're now facing misdemeanor charges for disrupting a school function. We are stepping up um, and incorporating social media Media training into our curriculum so that we can prepare students, but we're also encouraging parents to have those conversations with students about the importance of being careful with what you post on social media. Um, it's permanent. In some cases, students may believe the threats are a joke, but News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Gil Smith says threats are taken more seriously now. Smith used to be a school resource officer. Now things are being taken even more seriously um, due to the terrorist activity that's going around the world. They have very sophisticated ways of being able to track down people who are making these threats. So just because you're online and you think you can be avoided, in many cases you can be found out. Meanwhile, parents are still concerned about the threat. It just seems so unreal and it's really scary. And so outside of the school, we do see buses here behind me and students headed to the classroom. Classes start here in just about 15 minutes. We did speak with the superintendent and he tells us that the person responsible will face the most extreme term possible. Marcus White, Channel 4, the local station.